Esther 9.25 Uvevoa lifne hamelech, amar im hasefer, ya shuv machashavto hara'a asher chashav al hayahudim al rosho, vetalu oto ve'et banaiv al ha'etz. So we begin here today with the Vav on an infinitive construct. So we have the infinitive construct of Bo here with a bait preposition and then also with a pronominal suffix. And in this construction, this is typical temporal clause in Hebrew, bait preposition plus an infinitive construct. And then you get this as a subjective pronoun is what we have here or a uh, excuse the, the language here, but a subjective genitive. So we get something like, and at the time, at the time of the going of it, or the coming of it, and the of it is it serving as the subject. So we would say in a temporal clause, when it came, and the it here is referring to that which was written uh, by Mordecai earlier. When it came before the king, he said with the book or with the writing, this would be how he said it in writing. I'm going to skip this verb for just a second and go pick up everything else. We have here his plan. Notice here the word chashav as part of this noun form. His plan, the evil one. So we have his evil plan which he reckoned, call perfect third masculine singular, concerning the Jews. Now, all of this goes together as the subject. His evil plan, which he reckoned concerning the Jews, should be returned or should return upon his head. The verb up here is a call imperfect third masculine singular. And again, his plan is the subject here. Should be returned on his head head. Now, the should be idea is is the verbal nuance that's implied here with the imperfect. It's not formally a future tense, but should also communicates incomplete action aspect. So the imperfect works here. Next, the reason I mentioned that is because next we get the vav consecutive on the perfect. Here we have the perfect of tala, tala. This is the call perfect third common plural of tala. And what happens with the Vav consecutive is it takes the same verbal nuance of the verbal form in front of it. And they should hang him and, direct object marker number two, his sons upon the wood. And again, the wood here, a reference to the gallows or a pole, however you interpret that.